Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo. Today, we've got uh, a very cool release that I know a lot of people have been looking forward to, myself included. The latest Metal Blade release from Fate's Warning, Long Day, Good Night. Album number 13, Lucky 13, all right? Uh, maybe some people don't think that 13 is a lucky number, but uh, in this instance... I think lucky number 13 is indeed a good one for this band. So we've been around since like 1982. Can you believe it? It's like we're soon going to be saying, hey, Fate's Warning, been around for 40 years. Amazing run these guys have had. And, uh, you know, in all the, you know, maybe not the most prolific band when it comes to putting out albums. Uh, they made all their albums count because they've got a really, really strong discography. And uh, Long Day, Good Night just kind of continues on with that. So I've had this one now just under a week and trying to kind of uh, digest the whole thing because it's uh, a lot to take in here. So let's take a look at the, uh, you know, kind of a not much going on on the album cover. It's kind of kind of bleak and just kind of simple. That's okay, though. And we've got uh, in the booklet here you know, a little bit of artwork, all the lyrics, not much else. No band pictures anywhere in sight on this one. So, of course, you know, we've got in the band right now, you got Ray Alder on vocals. Ray is now concentrating all of his efforts on Fate's Warning. Uh, he's basically stepped away from Redemption. We've got uh, Jim Mathios on guitars, production, you know, main songwriter, Joey Vera on bass, who also does double duty in Armored Saint. How cool is it you got an Armored Saint and a Fate's Warning album both out right about the same time here? Two really good metal albums to enjoy here in the latter part of 2020. And then uh, Bobby Jerzombek on drums. Okay, he's been with the band a while now. Got some guest stars here, though. You got uh, Mike Abdow, who uh, plays guitar solos on a couple of songs. You've got Garen Harrison. Yes, that Gavin Harrison from King Crimson. Plays drums on one track. You've got uh, Mika Posen, plays violin on one song. You've got uh, Raphael Weinroth-Brown. Raphael, guesting on... Uh, on cello on one song, really good musician right there. George Hideous uh, on bass on one song. Okay, so uh, and like I mentioned, uh, mixed by Evil Joe Barisi and uh, mastered by Alan Duches, produced by Jim Matthews, and the artwork and layout by Patrick Atkins on the album. So how is the music, you might ask? Well, you know. Uh, these guys have another one of those bands that have been on a kind of like late career renaissance. And, and you know, quite frankly, like I mentioned before, these guys have really never put out a bad album. So, you know, you have the real, the, the gems from early in the catalog, like, you know, the Spectre Within, especially Wake, Awaken the Guardian and No Exit. You got Perfect Symmetry, Parallels Inside Out. Then you got the big, long epic, A Pleasant Shade of Grey. Then you've got some of the more modern year stuff, you know, Disconnected, uh, FWX. You got uh, Darkness in a Different Light from 2013. Excellent, excellent album, which was there at the time, their first album in like, what, nine years? And since then, man, they've just been steamrolling. So then they had Theories of Flight from 2016. Excellent album, one of my favorite albums of that particular year. And now Long Day, Good Night follows uh, four years later. So they're roughly going like, you know, the last couple of years, three, four years between releases. Just what you would expect from Fate's Warning. You know, it's got uh, 13 tracks, so their 13th album, 13 songs here. A good mix of all that they do best. You've got the slower paced, darker, moodier, atmospheric stuff with the more frenetic, progressive metal, you know, lots of different time signatures, complex arrangements, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, the album starts off with the Destination Onward, which again, kind of moody and atmospheric, a little more of a mid-paced number that moves into Shuttered World. Shuttered World is more what you'd expect, uh, you know, from like, you know, the perfect symmetry, no exit period, that real kind of uh, complex progressive metal, lots of really cool guitar riffs and shuffling rhythms and that sort of thing. Uh, then we got a long we walk, now comes the rain, the way home under the sun, really cool song, lots of cool passages on that. Scars is another kind of more uh, upbeat, complex, heavy metal track right there. Uh, then there's Begin Again, When Snow Falls, When Snow Falls. Again, kind of moody, atmospheric, a little more, you know, that really, they're really trying to capture 
I think the uh, you know the you got the lyrics here, and they're trying to make the music kind of follow along with what the mu the lyrics are conveying. I think it works really well. Uh, then a little more of a more upbeat and heavy tune in "Liar." Then you got "Glass Houses" and in the back end of the CD. You've got the longest shadow of the day and the last song. Again, both really good good emotional vocals from Ray. Ray's such a good singer, man. He just keeps getting better with age. And uh, Jim Mathios's riffs and textures throughout this album really really fine uh and i'm a big fan of bobby's drumming i think he has just really fit into this band so well and you know joey vera the glue that holds it all together all the time he's like the mvp the hidden mvp of both fate's warning and armored saint just such a great bass player and you know when you go see them live he's he's the guy you can't take your eyes off on stage he's just so busy and just so animated uh, but a really, really good album that I think has a lot of the light and shade that we love from Fate's Warning. You got the, the more kind of atmospheric and textured tracks with all sorts of different colors and moods. You got the more kind of the heavier stuff that's, you know, more complex, lots of really, you know, great shuffling rhythms and intricate riffs, some blazing solos and spots, although this band was never all about that, right? So uh, I dig it. I think it's a really cool album. Again, um, I'm still pretty fresh with it, but I did want to get a review on here. I'm sure uh, I will probably have more to say on this because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm really digging it so far, so I'm pretty sure this is going to wind up on my best of 2020 at some somewhere in that list, so you'll get to hear me talk about it uh, later on in the year when we get set to do those uh those particular videos on our favorites of this year but uh yeah long day good night the latest from fate warning out now on metal blade records hot off the presses if you don't already have it you should get it it's good it's melodic this uh it's proggy it's heavy in spots it again it's got a lot of what we love about this band nobody really sounds like them and that's a good thing uh, they don't uh, bash you over the head with unrelenting complexity and you know all that kind of stuff. It's it's heavy, but just heavy enough in spots. It's melodic. It's it's moody. It's atmospheric. It's kind of all these things and then some. So uh, very thoughtful stuff. You know, it's very. You listen to Face Warning. You're like ah. You can tell they put a lot into creating this album, creating these songs and these instrumental passages. So uh, job well done once again, guys. Long day, good night from Fate's Warning. Visit us on the web at www.seaoftranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. If you like what you see, please do help us out and click on the Ko-Fi link below. Buy us a coffee, a tea. Well, I don't drink coffee, but buy us a, buy us a tea, iced tea preferably. You can buy me a pint of beer, buy me a CD, buy me a t-shirt. That's the stuff I really love. Buy me a book, whatever you want. Okay, whatever you can contribute is greatly appreciated. We'll help us out on the channel. We also have the link to our merch page. Check that out because we've got some new shirts. We have Hudson Valley Squares limited edition shirts, so check those out, uh, as well as some new Sea Tranquility logo design. So that's also in the links below to our merch page and our website, all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys. Let's see, what do we got coming up tomorrow? So tomorrow... We have Rich Catino coming back on the show. We're going to do another Monsters Den tomorrow, all about some classic films, classic horror films starring none other than Vincent Price. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, and we got uh, Chris Al and I are working on another Monsters Den show where we talk about like all those, not all, but some of our favorite cheesy horror and sci-fi flicks with rubber monsters. Okay, guys dressed up in rubber suits and all that kind of stuff. So that's coming up as well. Uh, Chris and I are also are plotting a uh, ranking the studio album show of venom okay we've got uh, anthony Ferrar, one of our longtime viewers coming on the show pro hopefully next week or the week after uh we're going to rank the studio albums of none other than steve hackett that is happening and so much more always got another we actually got a couple uh viewer appreciation episodes in the works so not only is anthony coming on for steve hackett jamie laszlo's coming back for crosby stills national young we've got dawn the chaldean is coming on we're going to rank our favorite songs sung by ronnie james dio okay that encompasses his whole career so that's coming up too and uh man all sorts of stuff happening all sorts of stuff so that and more so stay tuned for all of it and we'll see you all later on take care bye-bye <laughs>